everybody, Drew McClellan here from Agency Management Institute. This week I facilitated traction for two different agencies. So I spent a lot of time with them and the leadership team working through some of the sort of thorny issues that get in the way of an agency being as successful and profitable uh, and seamless as an agency could or should be. And in the process of those traction meetings, a lot of questions popped up. So some of those were, hey, we have a key employee that we don't want to lose. Should we give them shares of stock in the agency? Another question was, dogs in the office, good idea or just a distraction? And the, other, the third question is, I want to write a book as part of our biz dev strategy as the agency owner. How are other agency owners getting that done? And that's the question that I want to answer for you. So there, there is a lot of evidence that shows that being the author of a book means that you are regarded as an expert in the topic of that book. And if it's well written and it's well documented and it gets out into the out into the wild, it can be a great biz dev tool for you. But how do you actually get the hard work of the book done? So there's a wide array of choices and none are good or bad. They're just different and one of them is going to be right for you. Some agency owners are actually really good writers and they like to write. And so they want to write their book by themselves. And so I'm going to talk about the writing part and then I'm going to talk about the publishing part. So they're going to sit down and they're going to outline their book and they're going to carve out time every day or every week to get the book done. I have a lot of agency owners. I have to admit, I have a lot of agency owners that are a third of the way done with their book. And they've been a third of the way done with their book for several years. It takes a lot of work and discipline to write a book, even more to write a good book. So... It's not just that you are a writer and you love to write, but it's also that you're disciplined enough that you're going to really carve out the time to get it done. Because if it takes you five years to write the book, it doesn't really serve you very well. Other agency owners will say, I've got all the ideas here, but either I'm not a good writer or I just don't have the bandwidth to write the book, so I'm going to hire a ghostwriter. And so many agency owners, I've introduced them to ghostwriters who will interview the agency owner work on an outline with them together, start building out chapters. It doesn't mean the agency owner isn't writing it, but it's really more of an editing their own words after the ghostwriter has sort of constructed the chapter. So have an interview, talk about what you think the chapter is going to be about, impart your wisdom. The ghostwriter goes back, tries to put that in a chapter format and a semblance that makes sense comes back to you, the author, and then you're going to edit, add, subtract, rewrite, whatever it is. It's a lot easier to edit than start from scratch. So many agency owners choose that methodology rather than writing the entire book for themselves. Now, on the publishing side, you really have three options. You have the option of self-publishing. So whether you go through Amazon or somebody else, but you're going to you're going to write the book, you're going to handle the editing of the book, somebody in your shop is going to do the layout for the book, and then they're going to upload that template to either Amazon's printer or a local printer, and you're going to produce the books. The beautiful part of that is you get to keep all the money and that you're not paying anybody else any money. You're using agency resources to get that done. If you don't have agency resources or you don't want to take the time to figure out how to get an ISBN number and how to get your book into bookstores and how to list your book on Amazon and handle the fulfillment of the book, then maybe you want to partner with a publisher. And there are two kinds of publishers. So on the far extreme is what we think of as traditional publishers. So that's going to be a Wiley or a McGraw-Hill or a company like that, that all they do is publish books. And so what you're going to do is you're going to write a pitch for your book. You're going to send it to them or you're going to get an agent to do that. And you're going to pitch your book to different publishers. And hopefully one of them will find your book idea interesting enough. They're going to want to see some chapter sample chapters. And then you'll negotiate a deal with them. They might give you an advance. Uh, I know some agency owners where the advance has only been a couple thousand dollars. And for other people, maybe it's been 25 or 50 grand, depending on the topic. And if they are already a known entity. But even when you go with a traditional publisher, so again, you're going to write the book, they're going to do the editing, 
They're going to have a lot of say over what your book says and how it looks, what the cover looks like. They're also going to look to you to be the main driver of sales for your book. So do not think that if you get a mainstream publisher that they're going to bust a hump to sell a business book because they're just not. If you're John Grisham or you are some other best-selling author, sure, they're going to bust a hump. But if you are somebody like us who is a first-time author, who's writing to an audience that's probably pretty narrow, they may publish your book, but they're not going to put a lot of resource behind promoting your book. So they're going to want you to build up your Twitter account and your LinkedIn Rolodex and all the other, your mailing list. They're going to be putting you on a lot of pressure to get all of that to a point where they believe you can sell whatever number of books allows them to break even. They don't really care if you sell any books after that. They're excited if you do, but honestly, they just want to make sure they make their advance back. And whenever you sell a book, when you work with a traditional publisher, you're going to get, you know, a buck or two maybe for your book and they keep the rest of the money. So the good news is they pay for everything up front. They do all the printing and all of that. You get a little bit of money on the front end, but that's you're going to basically be in servitude to them um, to sell your book, at least until your advance is done. And then oftentimes what happens is they kind of just go away. And so they're not very invested in your book anymore. The middle ground is what I would call a hybrid publisher. So that's somebody who you work with and they are used to publishing books. They've got a book imprint or a, a printing company or a, sorry, a publishing company. But here's what's different. So you're going to pay them for the services that they provide you. So you are going to pay them to, first of all, you still have to pitch them. They still have to believe in your book. They have to be excited about it. But you're going to pay them to edit your book. You're going to pay them for the printing of a certain number of copies. But they're going to do, they're going to do the editing. If you don't want to do the book design and the layout, they can do that. It's okay if you do want to do it. Um, they'll partner with you on that. They'll get the books printed. They'll make sure that all the legal things are taken care of, the ISBN numbers, you know, copyright, all that sort of thing. They'll get your book into bookstores. And what's beautiful about that is once you once you're done, once the book is in the bookstores and you've got a few boxes in your garage and it's on Amazon and all of that, after that, after you've paid them, you guys are square. So now every dime you get for selling your book, whether you sell it after a speaking gig or you sell it on Amazon or you sell it in a traditional bookstore or a client wants to give 100 of their employees your book as a gift, whatever it may be, that money stays with you. Now, understand, none of us are writing books because we I think we're going to make our living as an author. A book in the business sense, in the biz dev sense, isn't about how much money you make selling the book. The biz dev value and the value of the book are the doors that it opens because you're an author and because of the subject matter of your book. So don't let the money part drive your decision in terms of do I want to write it or get a ghostwriter and how do I want to publish it? Be really mindful of what your end game is and how you can get there as efficiently and successfully as possible because one way or the other, you're going to spend some money on this. So the point is to get it done done well, but also done relatively quickly so it can start giving you some ROI. Hope that was helpful. I will be back next week with another question and another answer. 